What is up everybody, Rod J back in the house. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video and I'm gonna take a look at another beer. This one I'm gonna take a look at is the one that really got me into the craft beer game. So a lot of people ask from time to time, you know, what beer got me into it or how I became involved in doing a lot of the beer stuff that I do. And it was at an event that this beer was a beer that I ordered that was not aware at the time I wanted something different and it is from Ithaca Beer Company. It is a look at the Flower Power India Pale Ale. So this is one that I don't know why it took as long to actually do a review on this on the channel um, being that it was the one that got me into it but now I'm going to go ahead and do that. Comes in with an ABV of 7.2% on this beer and at the time I had this I think it was back around, it was around 2010 or so, 2010, 2011, somewhere in that area. We were at a company event. We were at one of the local bars. I was like, ah, oh, let me try something different because I didn't want the regular uh, type beer fair and the same point. You know, I didn't want to another liquor type drink. I want to try something different. And the bartender recommended for me to try this one. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this one open and share it with you guys and see if it still rings the same for me now as it did back then as I, I guess, officially here on the channel do a review on the beer. And here we go into the IPA glass with it. And it's got that nice classic look of the IPA, the nice orange amber color. You get a nice foamy head on it that is a little more darker off color, off white in the uh, look of it. So a little bit more of a shaded white color. That aroma is still just as vibrant now as it was back then. Get a nice burst of the hops coming out. A nice tropical citrus undertone. You're getting that classic like grapefruit type feel, orange type feel, tangerine right there on the nose. Very aromatic, comes out very easy. You don't have to sniff really too hard. As soon as you put your nose down, you really get a nice whiff there. So very, very, very aromatic look of the beer. I'll get a little bit closer. You have a haze on it, so you're not really seeing into it as much. But it just smells smells just as great now as it did back then. Taste wise, oh yeah, the nice classic IPA feel to it. Nice popping of that flavor in the mouth. I get hit with those notes again of the citrus and tropical undertone from the hops. You get a little bit of a sweetness in there as well. You get that drying aspect of it on the back end. A little bit of an astringency in play. Great mouth coating. You really feel the beer all over the mouth. Goes down very nice on the back end. Do have that bitterness. Hold on the tongue, you get that nice carbonation feel, some good tongue prickling taking place. I can easily still go through a few of these with no problem. As far as the glass and the look, you get a little bit of lacing taking place there, but this is, this is a classic. This is a classic IPA, you know, not like some of the ones we have now with all the different flavors and the New England style and these taste like juice type things. This is just a nice classic to me. If you're an IPA fan, do yourself, do yourself well and uh, check out Ithaca and their flower power. It's a solid IPA. Like I said, it's the one that got me into exploring more with craft beer and thousands and thousands of beers later. Here I am. Thanks for checking out this video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on, drink beer, live hoppily. Cheers, everybody.